hey, uh, Miami, what are you guys doing? I understand you went to A and M last week, but th- this is not what we expected. Uh, <laughs> Mario Cristobal, just bananas. Uh, Middle Tennessee wins this game, forty-five to thirty-one. It, it was it was twenty-four to ten at the half, and every time Miami tried to answer, every time they tried to get something going, Middle Tennessee found a way to come back and. I mean, Cunningham was was the dude at quarterback. 16 completions out of 25 attempts for 408 yards. They had a 98-yard pass, a 69-yard pass, an 89-yard pass. Just insane. Insane. Uh, 82 Atlantic jumps in. USC is prone to random upset when they are highly ranked uh, like they've been for the past decade. Yeah. I think this team's a little different, though. Just a little different. Now, Miami, same thing. When they are ranked, they are prone to an upset. I did not think it would come at the hands of Middle Tennessee State. Or Middle Tennessee. I think they got rid of the state. I don't remember. Regardless, you look at these numbers. Tyler Van Dyke. Like, they have got this guy just all kinds of confused. He is not playing the same way that he did last year. 16 out of 32 passing for 138 yards, one touchdown, and two picks. They bring in Jake Garcia, 10 out of 19 for 169 yards. At least he didn't throw any picks. But the biggest problem that I had in this game was 38 rushes for 60 yards. That's 1.6 yards per clip against Middle Tennessee. When you are Miami, I I, I don't understand. Like I, I understand Middle Tennessee only running for 2.8 yards a clip. I don't understand Miami. How, how does this happen? Like, I, Miami has three turnovers in the game. Middle Tennessee has one. Uh, you look at the efficiency. Middle Tennessee was only three out of 12 on third down. It was nothing crazy. Uh, do you think Crystal Ball should start Jake Garcia against UNC? At this point, they might. Because Tyler Van Dyke is not getting it done. But I wonder how much of that is him trying to figure out Gaddis's offense. Right? And how much of it is actually Gaddis' offense and how much is Cristobal wanting to be insanely conservative? That's, I mean, that's the biggest question here. So, it's this is going to be a weird, weird situation going forward because Tyler Van Dyke, I mean, he was all ACC. He was uh, expected to be like an NFL draft pick. Da, 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 da. And we have problems now with this bunch. I mean, it is it, this is not a situation that I'm sure Miami wants to be in. Um because you're you're done with your non conference now, you know North Carolina at Virginia Tech. That defense is, is you know they they got some ideas. Duke is not bad uh, at Virginia. Eh, they should win that. Florida State. I mean, there's still games on the schedule that they can win, regardless of who plays quarterback. But they have they have some problems. They have some issues. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.